No, no, no. Ooh. By the time was that the hall? What was the uh, the red door then? Oh wait, I know what the red door is. Never mind. What were they? Whoa, hey! Oh, god. Another new kid? Oh my god. Huh? Then you guys are all. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So counting him, that makes fifteen. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the, stu the school. I looked around at everyone who gathered here, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I could swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. That is not a student. That is a teacher right there. That is a grown adult. Who? Which one? The, the, the uh, darker complexion, white hair girl. Is she like the strongest woman? Like the ultimate strongest oh, woman? Oh, oh, I know. I know. I know who you're talking about. We'll find out because we're going to introduce ourselves to each character. All right, but. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> ah. The way she moves is positively mesmerizing, and that pleasant scent, I can't quite place. What her name was? <laughs> Sayaka Miyazoma? Ma yeah, yeah, you're right. When I saw her name in the thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group of fashion all over the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and in magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find out she was going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Whoa, she knew? I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Weird. Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I just have really good intuition. <laughs> She's a sharp one. Hey, Dangerous. Um... Hey. Um... By any chance... Now what? <laughs> what the heck? What's so going on here? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey! Take me, dude! Just hold on. Jeez, you guys, how long do you plan on wasting our valuable time with this ridiculous back and forth? Um, I forgot that was me. <laughs> Sorry. S sorry. sorry. Carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self introductions are introductions yourself. Not babbling through a bunch of ideal chit chat. Okay, um, man, he's so. You're. You're right. Sorry. Sorry, pick me. Mako, just say Mako. <laughs> hey, the pick me. We could talk about this later. Did they, they like, go out? I don't know. I think we Did missed they share, something. Did like, a honey bun together one day? I don't know. Must be it sounded like Say Sayaka really had something to say. She Something to say. It's not like we will ever see each other again. Like she said, we'll talk later. Hey, Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Let's not. Ultimate moral compass. Really? <laughs> so that's I, uh, Kyo Taka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's also known for the work he's done with his public community's public morals committee. They say he uh, uh, respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Hmm. 
Anyways, you can you can call me Taka. Taka, yeah. Taka, Taka. I'm gonna say that. You said your name was Pick Me, right? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good name. Strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You yes, it me? is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear you. And keep that name... And to keep that name from losing value, you must devote yourself every single day. Man. Mm -hmm. Relax. Got it. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right! Who is he talking to right now? This guy is kind of annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? He's my Yo, favorite. I got the swagger. I got the swagger. Move along. Move aside. <laughs> nah, if you want to voice me, you can go ahead. Baseball. He's a baseball player. Huh. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, go ahead with your swagger. I want to hear it. I recognize that name. Oh God! Please don't. Oh, he played. Hair? Yeah, he grew out his hair. He played for National High School of Champs as their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. And the superb athletic uh, specimen is... You? Seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? No, nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all... Break. Well, were you expecting some kind of... We expected some kind of kid with a shave head. Shave head? No, I was he just expecting look. more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player type. He looks like what? He looks like. like the lost Baxter Boys brothers. Uh huh? <laughs> he um. looks like he did not make it for Instinct. <laughs> he looks like he's about to perform his fifth breakup song debut. You know, Seth. <laughs> so, I mean, when I found the article and picture of you online, that's how you looked then. What? Oh, man. You found pictures of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously? Like, I'm mega embarrassed right now. I don't even have a choice. Okay, shaving our head is like part of the national championship regulation. All right, Jeez, seriously? But now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm not going to dye it back to normal either. Hey, Hi. listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know... I don't like baseball, like at all. I'm not going to practice. I'm not. I'm not. Sorry. You good? I, I don't like baseball, like at all. I've never gone to a single practice. What a flex, I guess. He's never practiced, and he's still the team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah. And and as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dreams for the future. Preacher boy. A dream for the future? <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be part of the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Oh my, my only God. path in life is getting into music. You could be, you could feel like star quality aura I have, right? Sure. You know what I mean. Sure. You would be a singer, so all, so all I need is a songwriter. It's someone on a guitar, and we're set. He wants to be Backstreet Boys. <laughs> oh he God, wants to be Backstreet Boys. He looks like he was oh, so five-year-old mushrooms. Five-year-old uh, mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms to five-year-old. All right. Am I wrong? A new version of me that's chasing after my dream is, like, super cool to the max. I'm tired of him. Uh, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined... Never I imagine I uh, hear something from that, something like that from a star, baseball star, all star. I am Hifumi Yamada. What if you want to call I me by my nickname? The Alpha and the Omega. 
I don't mind. I mind. <laughs> I can do the uh, voice for like the main guy. You can do his. Okay. The ultimate fan fic creator. What kind mm -hmm. though? Uh, I don't want. I don't. Uh, uh. I don't by the now. way, by the way, how much do you know anything about the two D of art? A little too much. World of two D. <laughs> well, in that world, I'm well known and superior, like superior, superiorly well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm -hmm. I once sold. 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at the school festival. The event was, has passed into legendary. Anyway. Some of them didn't get it, of course, said I, of course, say, saying I tainted the event. How stupid could you be? Too bad of them. But selling 10,000 copies? Like, that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the, wor the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated in my time. I am a soldier. <laughs> I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all mindless preconceptions about fanfic. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagati. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> You would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. From my work, it is filled with deepest meaning. But what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing our biggest urges. Uh-uh. What do you mean by that? Uh, I think I want to comprehend it. <laughs> Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but... I got it. I got it from here. <laughs> Let's go. Toko. Toko Fukawa. And your ultimate writing Fukawa. prodigy. Yeah, she's worked on a novel when she was like when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched their her literacy career. Then 2 years ago, she released Soul Lingers of the Oceans. A love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women that fr fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hottest ma men pole. Despite right. her age, she's won countless literacy prizes, and all her books are instant bestsellers, sellers, which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else would you call such a young, talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovey-dovey type. With the what her masterpiece, masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? Not polite to stare, you know. What the heck? Not staring at me like that, like some filthy creature. God, I hate my life. <laughs> filthy creature? No, I just thought. You just thought. You just thought you would never see such a ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. No, that's yeah. not what I was thinking at all. What? I mean, this sounds like the start of my diary. What the heck? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm telling you. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true, otherwise, you, you know, you can't stand looking at me. Can I just say? Anyway. Uh-huh. Can I just say, I really wonder what people outside of my room is, like, thinking what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really wonder what they're thinking of me. Can they hear you? I, I think so. <laughs> Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it. Yeah, okay. Wow, talk about inferiority complex. I was way off about what a successful author would be like. Let's start with him! Name's oh god. Nice to f meet you. Damn, man, okay. <laughs>
ultimate baker gang leader. Mondo mm -hmm. Owada? Mama? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan! Ew! Okay. <laughs> He's earned respect, even all from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate bike gang leader. What comes? What comes up with these characters? I don't know. Huh? <laughs> Such a long breath. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you too. I don't Yo. know. You know what I said. Yeah. His hair looks like corn. Corn? Corn, yeah. 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 Nice we're in agreement. But you better <laughs> care for him. Better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up in the bottom of the sea. Hi! I'm Junko Enishima. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh. Ultimate fashion novice. Fashionista. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, major loser. Whatever, major loser. <laughs> Anyone can recognize this one. She got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I did not just say that. I've never seen her a ton. I've seen her on a ton of magazine covers, but... I feel like this doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, they're totally photoshopped. Wow. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited the and back with like computers and junk oh so they aren't real what can we do come on don't act so surprised you're gonna make me all depressed totally it's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of uh cover photos if you're surprised by that you'll be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of yours <laughs> diva of ours they make the eyes and uh, junk super big and tweak the skin so it's all ceramic and porcelain. Oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. <laughs> uh, can I ask for your name? <laughs> can I ask for your name? My name is... Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate right. question mark, question mark, question mark. Wow, okay. Interesting. She's pretty type lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I did see that there was were students like me. Ones that didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? Uh, so, what are you doing at the school? What's that supposed to mean? No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, you know, right? So what ultimate are you? What ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Why should I tell you? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not gonna tell you. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me, but her face is an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Ultimate programmer. Oh yeah, I know this one. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? 
maybe it's just my imaginations, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Chir Chihiro Fusaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type of thing going on, which has endeared her to her league of fans. Um, why is she crying? Hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, what are you apologizing for now? Um. Well, it's just you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I just, I was just lost in a thought about something. Huh? Huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Well, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> Say hee hee. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to understand why her friends are so into her. I'm Aoi Asahina, but my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Hey. Ultimate Pro Swimmer. Aoi. Uh, I... Oh, damn. Aoi. Oh, Hina. Yeah. Hina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's even chose as. Chosen as an upcoming Olympic candidate, she is without a doubt the ultimate swing pro. The combination in her ability, appearance, and proportions have been widely discussed online. Oh, Pop, what's your name again? Sorry, totally, for totally forgot. Makoto Miyagi. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I knew it was something like that. No, no, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Exactly. Sure, sure, sure. Got it here. Here, I'll hammer it onto my brain right now. Yeah. She seems like hitting herself. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Kick me. Kick me. I'm refusing to say his name, okay? Not because I can't say it, duh. Say my girl right now. I can't weed. <laughs> she, just, she just keep she just keeps repeating my name and moving her fingers across her palm like she's writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard that in my life before. Mm. I gotta do the same thing right now. <laughs> hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Uh -oh. You spell it exactly how it sounds. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I just figured it out later. And write it down. Okay. Anyways, got glad to meet ya. Sure, same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursts with energy. I am Sakura Ogami. Are you sure? She's a student. Ultimate martial artist. Oh jeez, I asked her if she was. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. I don't blame you. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I could turn into a human meatball. But now I remember, she competed in martial arts tournaments in America and won. Despite being a girl. Are you sure? This looks uh, like a character you'll find in JoJo Bizarre Adventure. Leave her alone. She's, she's the ultimate martial art ultimate martial artist. She fought over 400 matches and never lost a single one. I feel threatened. <laughs> that threat also that threat also said a bit more about her. 
Birds of color and ogre. Sadly, she's the closest known relative to the Mermaids. primates. The farm, the fair frame missing link. <laughs> missing link. I had to break out a character real quick. <laughs> Any upcoming Hope Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her of all cost. You don't have to tell me that. It looks like she's not allowed like within 100 feet of school. No, you can't say that. She's a sweetheart. She's an actual sweetheart. Bro, she looks. Bro, imagine. <laughs> oh my god. Eating in front of her now. I don't think they're exa exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Oh, uh, last. I snapped to I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. Okay, I know she's not allowed within 100 feet of an elementary school. Leave uh, What are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is around is right around that extremely ordinary high school student. Oh. Hmm. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. I'm not sure. That was such a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. He said it. Ultimate Elfid Prodigy. Um, nice to meet you. That's the most half assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I could do about it. Even amongst the ultimate students, this one's is this one is special. Bia Bia Kua Tamagai Togami. He's the heir apparent of his fa family's massive financial Listen, this is a lot of big words, I won't lie. It is. He's already starting, uh, started managing business operations and his own personal assets are, well, vast. His title of Ultimate Affluent Progeny is completely accurate to his definition of exceptional. That's everything I've learned about him from the Hope's Peak Academy thread online. Come on. We're done with the introductions, right? How much longer are you going to keep standing there? No way. I'm sick of looking at you. Oh my god. Man, that's his, what my dad just to tell me. Uh, he, <laughs> his aura <laughs> says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level like a king in training. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. I, I guess. The ultimate clavierant. I'm not gonna say this guy's name. Not a super say hero. The <laughs> community, the trending ultimate, the trending ultimate. Clairvoyant. Dreadlocks. I don't know. Clairvoyant. <laughs> Clairvoyant. Honestly, I really don't get all fortune telling stuff, but I'm pretty much. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help to wonder if there's any truth to it. Could it be? Uh, okay, I give up. Huh? What? What happened? For serious? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? Hmm. Guardian angel with a crazy perm cr chasing after Bigfoot, running off of, running off with a skyfish in its mouth. And the guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But hey, we should grab some uh, bioskids sometime and get real deep into uh, Limreari and its civilization. But we're not allowed to drink. We're we're in high school. You know. Oh, I'm actually 21. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I've been held back a few times. See, and well, it's a long story. Your time, yeah, that, that 
it's a long story. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. What is? Ultimate Gambler. Ah. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. It is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer if you call me Celeste. Uh, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. What do you ask? Well, if you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Celeste Luna Lunenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors in the thread were right about her. The self the self styled Celeste Lugenberg. She's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Other than her obvious love of gothic Lolita clothes, everything about her is wrapped up in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament, earning the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their li life savings and laughed as she did. <laughs> Making shish money. I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> <laughs> that smile is beyond deception. I better watch at myself around her. Thing. You saw where we oh, you saw all the windows in the class. Huh? And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and in the classroom were, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing about it. PNG nuts and bolts. <laughs> but instead of the normal glass window, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's that about? I so I don't kill myself? Plus, all of my stuff is missing, even my cell phone. Um. Yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. <sighs> and then there's the main hall there. Then there's a main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. Ooh! <laughs> what the heck? What is it doing there? Aww. I'm gonna need to calm it down, buddy. Maybe we get caught. Maybe we got caught up in like, in something like, you know, crime or something? Is it like... What? Like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled all of us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on. Come on, don't... Oh yeah, come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you, you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Yeah. Well, if that's all it is, it's night. It's nap time for me. You know what I mean. Felt. I was way too up last night, so I could use a little shut eye. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. yeah that's why I said yeah. Oh, okay. Insert meme right here. Thank you. This is a dumb teddy bear. Ahem, ahem. Testing, testing. Mic check one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. This guy sounds like a. Oh. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed wholly out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I 
would like to begin the entrance ceremony at... right now! Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Oh, God. Huh? What the... Was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey! Hey! What? You're gonna take off just like that? Could it be? Oh, yeah. Now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us pumped up for the intrinsic ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it's all just a joke. I'd be totally freaked if it was you know? real. Alright. Guess I'll head out too. Wonder what they got planned for us next. Uh, uh... Liam, I was totally looking forward for that nap too. Why they had to- why they had to go and kill the mood? Huh? Wait for me! I wanna go with you! <laughs> I'm got him. I'm lagging so hard right now. Ooh. That's- that's it then. I'll see you- I'll see you all there. Anyway... Not- not that anyone would care, but I'm gonna go too. Jesus, every single one of these people? Everyone took off for the gym, and, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I was the only one. Uh, um, this, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Mm. Maybe, but it just doesn't mean we'll all be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we don't move forward, we'll learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I kind of, no, really nervous. We didn't, we don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? 